Hey everyone, welcome back to another R config video. Uh, it's been a couple of months. We've been busy squirreling away on V7. Delighted to announce that it was released last week. And today I'm going to show you one of its uh, most excellent features, uh, the API backup feature. Hey, this is Stephen from R config, your friendly CTO. Uh, so to all my network engineer and architect friends and ops and managers and directors or whomever you are, introducing R config V7 today. Uh, it's first uh, show off, I guess, in terms of new features. And what we're going to do today is we're going to back up the Meraki Cloud Platform via an API through the R config interface. Can't wait to show you this. Okay, so very simply, this is the R config V7 interface here. I also have a sandbox for the Meraki Platform uh, online and, and working with a bunch of devices and different things. We'll have a look at that in a few minutes. And I also have the Meraki uh, API documentation open here, which I'm going to touch on shortly. So let's get logged in. Um, brand new dashboard, brand new interface, all kind of cool bells and whistles. I'm not going to go through them all today. But uh, let's show you the new API collections feature. Let's get straight into it. So open the devices menu, open API collections. And in here, we're going to create a collection. And then we're going to create a set of credentials for that collection. And then we're going to create endpoints within that collection. And you'll see what I mean now in just a moment. So let's create a new API collection. Let's call it, uh, let's call it Meraki Enterprise Sandbox. Doesn't really matter for demo purposes. Now the base URL, this matters. Okay, so for Meraki, the base URL is this. Okay, you can get this from the documentation in here. And so what happens then is we create endpoints later and all of the endpoints hook back or anchor back on this base URL. Okay, so this is the collection part of the feature. The uh, authentication type is bearer, uh, which you can see here in the authentication authorization section of the, the Meraki documentation. So we see we must pass a header with authorization and bearer. So our config does all this under the hood for you, right? So, but uh, so set that and we can figure out the credentials uh, in a short moment. And uh, the next the next one is to verify at SSL. That means basically if I turn this on, the certificate that's sent back on the on the far side needs to be uh, valid and in date and all that kind of stuff. Some of you might have internal APIs you might want to back up. You're using self-signed certs, then you might want to leave this unticked, right? For the sake of the demo, I'm just going to leave it unticked today anyway. The retry count is the amount of times an endpoint will retry before it fails. And the retry delay, I'm just going to set it to one for the demo. And the retry delay is the amount of time between uh, retries. So you could set it to 1,000 milliseconds, for example, or 5,000 milliseconds, or whatever you need it to be. Uh, vendor, Meraki, these are kind of standard um, or config uh, options. I'm just going to select routers, maybe routers again. That doesn't really matter for the purpose of this demo. And that is our collection created. The next thing we're going to do is create credentials. And then after that, we're going to create endpoints. Okay, cool. Now that we have our collection created, let's go ahead and add a set of credentials. Let's edit this guy. And in here, feels very much like uh, our standard R config device view uh, with a few notable uh, differences. Uh, the first is we have a credentials button up here. We have an endpoints button. But we have the well-known R config kind of features or functions, which is kind of copy a debug. That will copy a debug command to your clipboard so you can run that in the CLI. Uh, view configs, download now, that kind of stuff, right? What we want to do is add a set of credentials. And you can see because we selected uh, bearer token uh, when creating the uh, collection, uh, it automatically populated bearer token here. You can change this if you need to. Uh, perhaps you made a mistake on the way in or whatever, but you can change it if you want to. So bear token is what we want. Now I have a token out here, and I'm going to paste this in. Uh, by the time this video is released, that token will be deleted, and it doesn't matter because this is a sandbox anyway. Uh, leave the prefix unless you know to change it. Some API providers do use a different prefix on bearer tokens. Don't know why. They just do, right? So that's why you have an option here to change it. In this case, we're going to leave it, okay? Uh, you're going to save this. So the credentials are saved, so that's fine. And we actually have a test option here. So you can 
just you know put in an endpoint and test it. Now, if I test right now, it's going to tell us put in an endpoint. So what we're going to do is we are going to locate an endpoint in the API documentation. And if I go to platform here in API documentation, I go down to networks, I think. And I'm going to get organization networks. So I'm not going to go through all of this and how to parse API docs for various endpoints. I leave that to you guys. But this is one I had tested earlier, so I know it works. So I'm going to pull out this endpoint. We can see we have a variable here. I'm going to show you how to get that on the Meraki platform in just a moment. I'll stick that in there. And if I go back to my Meraki dashboard, I've got my right down here at the end. Oh my God, it's the smallest thing is the org ID. Okay, now different platforms are going to have this stuff all set up in different ways. So uh, you're going to have to figure that one out. So for now, I'm going to replace the variable with the org ID. I'm going to copy that because I'm going to reuse it in a moment. And I'm going to test the endpoint. So we can see we've got a status 200, which is a successful uh, response. And we can see in our body section down here, we have all of our data sent back in a kind of a fairly ugly stringified format. But that's okay. It's just a test, right? We can get our headers. And if there is any issues, let's just say we put in network, right? And test the endpoint. We'll probably get a 404. Perfect. Doesn't exist. Of course, it doesn't exist because it's an invalid endpoint. So we put back in our uh, valid endpoint and test, and we are good update that, close it, and we'll add our endpoints. Last section of the video, let's add endpoints. Now, with the collections, you can add as many endpoints as you want. It's infinite. Uh, you know, you have to determine, I guess, what endpoints you need to back up from a configuration and our data perspective, right? I mean, this doesn't just apply to cloud and SD-WAN providers. You can go, go way into all sorts of different API uh, collections and endpoints and different things to back up whatever you need, right? But let's stick with Meraki for now. We're just going to back up one uh, by way of example, and that's that same endpoint organizations, ID, and networks. So we're going to get all networks for this org ID, okay? So into endpoints here, create an endpoint, give it a name, I'm just going to call this uh, all, or oh, let's say, sorry, big pardon, all org, org networks. Cool. Okay. Uh, you can put in an author to file in. Much like commands for devices, we, we added that feature a little while back where you can uh, put in an alternate file name if you want something more specific around the actual config file name that's produced afterwards, after the download. So we're going to choose our verb as get. Now you will note, uh, for as this video was published, there's, you know, most endpoints have puts and deletes and patches maybe. And we're, 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 we're just doing get some posts right now. Um, you, you see, we don't have the option to add in body data either yet. That'll come over time as, as the feature is built out. So let's get our endpoint in here and you can see the endpoint is fully populated here, so you kind of know what you're hitting. Let's save that. Let's close it. Now we've got an endpoint. So what do we do now? Let's go back to the main table. Let's run a download. And if I'm not wrong, we should get a download in here. Perfect. Version 1. Let's have a look at it. And look at that. Perfectly uh, formatted JSON output from uh, the Meraki platform with all of our networks uh, put in here, okay? Uh, you'll have further endpoints to interrogate afterwards and different things like that, but I mean, we can see here within a couple of seconds, we got the into all of the networks for this org on the Meraki platform, uh, nearly a thousand lines of it, you know, with, within a few seconds, right? So uh, we also have config history capability in here, just like the new feature for devices. And so, that's it, guys. It's a, it's a beautiful feature. I can't wait to see the use cases rolling in with your backing up Azure config services or AWS or GCP or your network devices on-prem which have API capabilities or whatever it is. Let us know the use cases. I'm really, really excited to see them. Uh, drop me, Stephen, at orconfig.com uh, an email. Drop info at orconfig.com an email. Head on to our... Uh, public website, uh, schedule a demo, uh, check out the new features for V7 in here, 
uh, let us know what you think. Drop a, uh, make sure and subscribe and like. Uh, see you all soon in the next video. Thanks a lot.